Hey peeps, I'm Andy Kuhn with fcproducer.com. Thanks for checking out this tutorial about Media Manager. The Media Manager is a more advanced tool that Final Cut Pro offers. It'll help you uh, optimize your projects. It'll help you move your projects or files from hard drive to hard drive without losing any media so you don't have to go keep reconnecting all the media. It also will uh, help you archive your projects if after you finish a huge project you didn't use a lot of the footage. Um, that, that I'll show that later down the road. But right now, what I'm going to show you is to how to transfer uh, a sequence in a project to a hard drive. And I'm gonna, essentially, I'm going to make that sequence a project. So what I'm going to do here, I uh, did the film festival for Converge South, and what I did was I ripped all the, I ripped all the films from DVD, and I put it on a timeline in. Final Cut Pro, which is pretty cool. It was very t seamless. There was no waiting for DVDs to, you know, eject and put in. And so it, I felt it worked better. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of archive this and get rid of this project file. So I'm going to move the first act of the film festival to an external hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the sequence film festival right here, and that's what this timeline is associated with. I'm going to right click on it and go to Media Manager. And here it opens up Media Manager. Original is 19.5 gigs. Modified is 19.5 gigs. The reason why it's modified is because the include render files are involved. If I took that off, it goes down to 17.6, but it took a long time to render those files. So I'm going to include the render files. The thing I suggest everyone use is copy. No matter what you're doing, never use just move. Because if you use move, then you're just moving the original files from one hard drive to another. And if anything happens, power short, your computer crashes or anything, you're going to lose those files forever. So you always just want to copy. After you copy, verify that those files are in place. Then you could go back and delete all those files and you'll save some space. But it's always best to do this. Another great tool of Media Manager is to delete unused media from duplicated items which I'm not going to be do using here because everything is in its original form. But for instance, if I took, let's say, this a 30, if this was a 30 minute clip and I only used 15 minutes of it, if I hit delete unused media, it would take only those 15 minutes that I used and delete the other 15 minutes so you save space on your hard drive or, you, or, or if you're archiving it, that helps out big time. So everything else pretty much, since everything is almost straight from the files I really don't need to change anything okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse and look for a, a place to to put my project so I'm going to go to the external hard drive that's where I'm going to save the project file create a new folder called film festival create and then choose that folder now I'm going to hit OK and it's going to ask for a, a name so I'm going to call it converge South Film Festival. I'm going to save it. And that's all you have to do for Media Manager. So now it's going to create a new project called Converge South FF. And it's going to take all the media that's from here, which is I, it's all in your scratch folder. It's going to move it, make duplicates, and move it into that external hard drive. So that's it for Media Manager. I'll show you how it ends. But right now, it's got some moving to do. So we'll come back after it's finished. All right, so now we're back and the video files have finished moving over from one hard drive to the other. And let's see if everything works okay. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this old browser that had the film festival, the first act in it. So I'm gonna close tab. Do you want to save it? Yeah, just in case. Now this is the what's left over and that's what's on my other hard drive. So let me double click on the film festival so there it is. It worked perfectly. There you have it. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial, and I'll see you next time for the next one, whatever it be.